In a landmark moment, the Indian Air Force Chief and Indian Army Chief flew a sortie together in the Tejas aircraft at the Alahanka Air Base. India has unveiled a full-scale engineering model of the AMCA at the Aero India 2025, but the latest roadmap by Aeronautical Development Agency shows its induction from 2036 onwards. In a jaw-dropping demonstration at the Aero India, the Su-57 successfully took off in just 10 seconds using a mere 0.8 km runway, highlighting the sheer power and efficiency of the AL-41 engine. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh paid a visit to HAL Stages Mark 1A production facility in Bengaluru, where he was shown three Mark 1A fighters and two trainers, while two more units were in final stages of testing. New Space Research and Technologies has unveiled the complete range of its Sheshnag Swarming Unmanned Air Systems at Aero India 2025, that are capable of destroying targets at 15 km range to more than 1000 km. New Space Research and Technologies has unveiled the Abhiman new unmanned wingman, that has been selected by the Indian Navy. Tanbo Imaging has unveiled its Wave Strike third generation high power microwave directed energy weapon that can neutralize swarm drones at long ranges. The DRDO has showcased its Kosha long range surface to air system that will have a speed of Mach 5.5 and a range of 350 km. The DRDO has unveiled the Viru Paksha radar for Super Shukhoi fighter jets at the Aero India 2025, that has 2400 gallium nitride based transmit receive modules. The Chief of Staff of Algeria's People's National Army visited Bharat Forge, and he was briefed on the Marg Ultralight Howitzer at AGS and Autonomous Underwater Vehicle. Tata Boeing Joint Venture has delivered its 300th AH-64 Apache fuselage from its Hyderabad facility to Boeing. While it was reported that the American F-35 will be on static display only, and will not conduct flight demonstrations at the Aero India 2025, but surprisingly, just 10 minutes after the Russian Su-57 conducted its flight demonstration, the F-35 Lightning II took to the skies. The US has also sent its P-1B Lancer Heavy Bomber and KC-135 Stratotanker at the Aero India. India has finalized a deal exceeding 36,000 crore rupees with Mazagin dock ship builders for the construction of three additional Scorpion-class submarines, a figure that has sparked considerable debate, as this is nearly three times the cost of the six Scorpion submarines acquired under the initial Project 75. The increase in local content and indigenous AIP system was expected to reduce costs by minimizing reliance on foreign components, but the opposite appears to be true. In a surprising development, Tato Advanced Systems has unveiled its unmanned ground vehicle at the Aero India 2025, that has an impressive payload capacity of 1000 kg, a speed of 20 km per hour, and an endurance of 80 km. It can be fully customizable to suit various roles like drone deployment, remote controlled weapon station, logistics transportation, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance emergency evacuation and explosive disposal. Bharat Forge has successfully rolled out its latest Mark 155mm 45 caliber wheeled self-propelled howitzer, which is an upgrade over the 155mm 39 caliber truck-mounted howitzer, which extends the range and precision of artillery strikes. With an on-board ammunition carrying capacity of 18 rounds, the system is well prepared for sustained operations. Today's top 3 comments.